Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Laser Everything. Are you tired of listening to all the reviews on Laser Everything lately? It's like, good God. So today I'm gonna show you something how I take a piece of white canvas, paint it black, and the result looks like this. Pretty cool, huh? So if this content interests you, stick around because we're about to get busy. So here are the two things that I use for this project. 8x10 canvas, Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Gloss. And you can actually use high gloss, but gloss works really well. And I'll leave links in the description below. A customer wanted a photo put on an 8x10 canvas. So we're gonna go into Photoshop. We're gonna bring that file in. There it is. We're gonna crop it and we're gonna go 10 by eight. And that looks pretty good right there. We're gonna Bring it down a little bit and match it up just nice. That right there looks pretty good to me. So we're going to check it and that's the picture that we're going to use. Now that we got our picture in here, we're going to go up here. We're going to go into filter, camera raw filter. Now here we're going to have a little bit of fun. Temperature, I'm going to leave alone. That looks good. Exposure, we're just going to bring it up to see what actually look and that's a little bit too bright so we're going to back it down just a little bit you don't want to go overboard because if you do you're going to get a lot of wash out we're going to look at the shadows because there's a lot of white and black in here and you really got to be careful of that because you want to outline the cat but make them separate from the seat and that doesn't look too bad the whites i'm going to leave alone blacks i'm going to leave alone i'm liking this right now so let's go with this so i'm going to press ok this is gonna look good on a canvas. I can see it right now. So we're gonna save this. Save changes. Okay, so we can get out of Photoshop. So we're gonna open up Lightburn. We're gonna make sure we are on 300 millimeter lens. We're gonna draw ourselves a square. 10 by eight. We're gonna square it up. Turn it to a T tool. Now we're going to bring in our image. There they are. We're going to just scale it down just a little bit. We're going to go into our library. We're going to go into canvas, photo, white paint and black, assign. It's 300 speed, 18 power. So we're all set here and we're off to the fiber laser and we're, let's see what this looks like on 8x10 piece of canvas. Okay guys, we're focused up and we're gonna frame it and we're gonna get it squared up and we're gonna go run our first pass. And here we go. So what I like to do here is I like to run one more pass to make sure I just get all the pixels that I need to get out. Now as you can see as it's going, you can see it getting brighter. To me that brings out more detail, but we'll see what it looks like in the end. You can see more of the detail coming out of the, the cat at the top because the cat's darker. Watch it lighten up. It just looks better through the second pass. Now, as you can see, the second pass brings out the lightness of the dark furred cat at the top. So it separates the cat from the seat. So there's actually two different things that you can see and it doesn't blend together. So here we go, guys. This would be the ending result. Very cool, huh? The contrast between the darker cat with the seat, you can see the hairs, so it separates them to two. You can see the reflection inside the gas tank of the car and the garage door. Isn't that cool? So that's how you take something from this and turn it into this. Now the key here is to always practice. 
I practice a lot. I just go on Google and I find a random picture and I'll put it in there. If I think it's going to give me trouble, I definitely put it in there because now it's going to help you learn to figure out how to adjust your sliders to get it to where it's going to be perfect for you and the customer. I found a picture on Google, so I just popped it in there and it turned out like this. I don't know if you know these guys. I mean, do you know these yahoos? I don't, but it's just a random picture and I just put it in there and said, oh, let me give it a try. Turned out pretty good, huh? So if you get value out of this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified and the next time you get a new video from Laser Everything from me. Check out our Discord and Facebook groups in the link descriptions below. Support the channel over at the LMA masters.lasereverything.net. And with that said, have a Merry Christmas from everybody from Laser Everything. Peace.